Bowles. Yesterday, I heard you say that you spoke to BBC, Sirius, Randy Groves, Keith Overman, and Bill Nahr. Can't hear. Can't hear Yesterday, Okay, so yesterday, Wendell went to New York and spoke to BBC, to uh, Sirius Radio, to Randy Rose Radio, to uh, one of the two people who was on the Keith Hoberman show, and then with Bill Maher. It's one day, he's a busy man, doing a lot of presentations and talks. I, I want to know what you want to get out of this. What are your goals for this journey you're on? You know, as I've seen some of the legislation that's going through Congress, I, I thought uh, lately that a, a, a quote that's attributed to Apocalypse first do no harm. So I'm, I'm hopeful that the legislation that reaches the president at least doesn't make our system any worse than it currently is, and hopefully will will provide help to people like the folks I saw in in uh, in Wise County and so many people across the country here in Philadelphia as well. Uh, there is an urgent need for health care reform and an urgent need to get all of our people covered. We're the last developed country in the world that has a system that lets so many of its citizens uh, uh, go without access <coughs> to, to affordable care. So that's my, my main goal. Another, though, is to speak out. Uh, and I've been doing this some, not as much uh, during this health care debate, but also to, to, to explain to people what is happening to our democracy and the danger that it's in as uh, people like me, uh, or I used to be, corporate PR people, uh, they're more of us <laughs> uh, and, and we're much more influential than we ever have been at a time and it's because of the decline in journalism or uh, mainstream journalism, I guess you'd say. There's, there, of course, there are a lot of citizen journalists that uh, blog these days, uh, but uh, uh, there are fewer journalists. Uh, there's been so many layoffs, as you all Deadly no in newsrooms. Papers shutting down. Uh, people uh, don't have as many places to get their news and information as they used to. Another thing that, that bothers me uh, is that uh, as, as a consequence of that, and as a consequence also of the rise of the internet, which is a good thing, uh, or the people getting their information there, we select more of, of the information we get. Uh, and it's one of the reasons why I think that we've seen um, many people showing up to town halls during August. Uh, uh, and I'm talking about conservatives, but liberals on the other, other side as well. But uh, people are becoming, un, un, I think, unwitting spokespeople for uh, special interest. And if you get your news and information primarily from Rush Limbaugh or uh, Glenn Beck or, or Fox News uh, in general, then you are, you're not getting necessarily uh, factual you know the facts and, and, and the real context of what's going on. Um, so that that to me is a problem for the, for for our country going forward. You have people who don't have as access, as much access or even as much interest in getting news from uh, more objective sources. And uh, you've got uh, uh, a situation which there are far far more PR people uh, in this country than journalists now. And, uh, and it was so easy for me in many ways to do the job that I did because uh, journalists that, that are still employed are very, very busy. They would often call me for uh, a response, a reaction, or ask questions. And, and uh, they would usually just be quite happy to get a, a statement that I would give them that uh, uh, I had written uh, with a lot of help from a lot of my friends in the law department and on the business side and, uh, and elsewhere. But, uh, it's you know, this manufactured, sanitized statements that, uh, that, that come from corporate America. Uh, and journalists, unfortunately, just uh, uh, have to go with it and don't have the time. There's just this very little investigative journalism. But, uh,